solve some trigonometric equations involving multiple trigonometric functions within the equation. We're going to solve this on the interval between 0 and 2 pi, not including 2 pi. For example, let's say we have the cotangent of theta plus 1, and this quantity is being multiplied by a second quantity of cosecant of theta minus 2, and their product equals 0. So since their product already equals 0, we can set each factor to 0. So the cotangent of theta plus 1 is 0, or the cosecant of theta minus 2 is 0. So now getting theta by itself, I'm going to isolate each trig function. So the cotangent of theta is negative 1, or the cosecant of theta is 2. Okay, so I'm looking for the angle or angles whose cotangent is negative 1. Keep in mind that negative 1 uh, is just going to be the x-coordinate over the y-coordinate. We're talking about cotangent. So we're looking for where the x and the y-coordinates are opposite. So cotangent is negative in the second and the fourth quadrants. So that's where x and y are going to be completely opposite, which are at 3 pi over 4 and 7 pi over 4. Okay, where cosecant of theta is 2, I'm going to rewrite this as the reciprocal of sine. So the reciprocal of cosecant is sine, and the reciprocal of 2 would then be 1 half. So these are equivalent equations. So I'm looking for where the y-coordinate, talking about sine, is 1 half. So the angle whose y-coordinate is 1 half would be at pi over 6, and 5 pi over 6. So we actually have four answers that work here. Let me put them in order, so pi over 6 and then 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 6, and 7 pi over 4. Okay, let's look at another one. See, we have the tangent squared theta plus tangent theta equals 0. Okay, so very similar to part A, where it were set to zero, but notice that in part A it was factored. So I should probably go ahead and do that. I'm going to factor out the tangent of theta, leaving me with the tangent of theta plus one. So now that it's factored and set to zero, we can set each factor to zero. So the tangent of theta is zero, or the tangent of theta plus one is zero. Okay, so looking for where the y-coordinate divided by the x-coordinate is 0, would be at 1, 0, and negative 1, 0, so we have 0 and pi. Or looking for where the tangent of theta is negative 1, which is just the same thing as where cotangent of theta was negative 1, which was again in the second and the fourth quadrant, at 3 pi over 4 and 7 pi over 4. Okay, so again, we have four answers. I'm going to put them in order. So we have 0, 3 pi over 4, pi, and 7 pi over 4.